What's going on, y'all? Back with another video. Just got through. Just got through uh, cutting the grass, uh, washing the uh, pressure washer in the front of the house, getting the piling off the patio, so we can chill a little bit more and um, wash my mom's car. Anyway, I want to say something to you, uh, generation. Well, to the generation that's in front of the uh, Gen X, the millennials. Hey, a lot of people talk about y'all like they talked about the baby boomers, man. But I want to let y'all know something. I'm proud of y'all. I'm proud of y'all. I know everybody here, generation, got their little hiccup here and there, but. Millennials are showing the uh, Gen Xs how to quit a job and start doing your own thing. I, and people be like, these kids so quick to quit a job and don't want to work for nobody. Man, the one person that say that, they don't want to work for nobody. I think it's pure misunderstanding. But then again, that misunderstanding can turn to hate. And I don't sound like some haters. I get it where you at a, at a job just so you can understand the, you know, the runaround, the, 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 the A to B to C, you know, how to, how to run a business or, you know, get the, the formula down pat. But at the same time, don't nobody want to stay in no job for no 40 plus years, 30 plus years. 20 years, 10, sometimes. Most, most of y'all don't even want to stay five years. And I get it. But I'm proud of y'all. The one that's taking advantage of these uh, these loans and, and maximizing and, 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 and using them the right way. Even though, you know, some of these loans are forgiven. But, you know, all in all, you're learning something. And even though you might fail, guess what? At least you went down that path to get an idea what it takes to uh, get back on that boat and try it again, you know. Look, nothing's perfect, but just continue to take these steps to keep growing, growing your own business, being an entrepreneur, being a, being a business owner. I'm proud of you guys, man. Y'all showing people in my generation well, in a, in, a, in a more broad area, y'all showing us. Y'all, I'm learning a lot from y'all than I did from my generation. You know, and that's sad to say because a lot of us are taught not to trust nobody, not to stick with each other, not to grow with each other. You know, don't let nobody in your circle. Which I get that too, but at the same time, you keep walking around with that mentality and that idea. That mindset, guess what? You ain't gonna have no room to grow. Cause you shut down everything before you even give it a shot. Y'all growing on network networking platforms like Clubhouse, Instagram, using face, face Facebook for what is what it's supposed to be used for. Not just posting about your emotions and, and you know what you don't like and this and that and the third a lot of y'all are really getting down to business y'all are really getting down to business something I don't agree with I'm not gonna lie but I understand you got you still gotta also still gotta make some money I'm not gonna buy every course <laughs> I'm not gonna I probably ain't gonna buy a course for real for real to be honest with you I'm gonna sit down and do the research put the uh that goes with that sweat equity. But if you want to buy a course and feel like you're getting a, a, a leg up on something, you know, do your thing. Spread the knowledge. But uh, I can't say it enough, man. I'm proud of you guys. You know, that goes to men and women. And, uh, just keep doing your thing, man. Show the, show the generation under you what it takes. You know, it's not about playing in the NFL, which I understand those guys are faced with a good deal of pressure. 
But this generation coming up, after the millennials, they're going to start trying to own teams and have their foot in the lead. And I want to see that. That's what I want to see. I want to see it, us owning teams, playing a major leadership role, not just being the uh, chess pieces, you know, and moving, you know, not on the field, just moving around, sacrificing our health and our body and our, you know, our mind. Football is a dangerous contact sport. Basketball is physical. But, you know, it's not about the player that makes the money. It's about the owner that's able to pay the player to make that amount of money and make that kind of money. Be the owners. I appreciate what y'all are doing. I'm proud of y'all. Y'all, I don't think y'all hear it enough. Keep doing your thing.